Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching, welcome to Haunted House Renovator. Now this is a game that I actually requested to be notified for whenever the key became available for playing through and demo testing and all that fun stuff. And lo and behold, at PAX, Image Power, the developer, happened to be there. So I was able to try firsthand the game there. And I was talking to, and I'm going to slaughter his name, my greatest apologies there, Piotr. It's a Polish company. I'm going to refer to him as Peter. He was a fantastic guy. He uh, ooh, kind of guided us through the demo a little bit. Spartan85 and I both got the chance to play it. I didn't want to ruin it too much, and there was a line, so... I played for a couple minutes just to get a feel for the game, and I was not disappointed. Now, the whole idea of the game, if you've played any type of house renovator, you know, you got, I'll show you, dirty furniture, there's uh, ectoplasm all over the floors, uh, peeling wallpaper, so you kind of have to renovate the different houses and apartments in this, this particular game. But there is a massive twist, and as you can probably hear with stuff being thrown, the house is haunted. Now the really cool thing is, and if you guys know me, I love Phasmophobia, I love Paranormal Cleanup, all those different games. The uh, the ghost is trying to kill you. In this game, you are hunting the ghost, which is really awesome. There's different ghosts, there's more to come. But you have to find out what the type of ghost is and banish it accordingly. So that's a really cool aspect of the game. Like, you know, it's, it's a very relaxed, chill game. Let's turn on our flashlight here. Hey, body. Speaking of ghosts, there's one haunting this tea kettle here. So it's stuff like this where you have to determine why the ghost is there, and there's different ways to banish the ghosts. For now, we have our objectives, as you can see in the left-hand side. We have to find the box with the ancestors' tools and turn the lights on. So I kind of skipped through a little bit, but what you have to do... Oh, wow. It was right there. Treasure! That's not it. The owners won't even know it was here. Excellent. And just like any other renovator game, you do on the top left, you'll see how much funds you have. So you can buy upgrades, you can buy different tools and stuff. And the idea right now is our grandfather was a house renovator of this supernatural type. And he's going to leave us some tools. He left them in his apartment here. I believe this is his actual apartment. There are more maps being developed right now. There's more, um, pretty much everything coming, more ghosts. Finally, I'm sure my old tools are desperate to get out. Of course they are, buddy. So you can see here, we have some tools. They're divided into two different categories, haunting and renovating. So we'll just confirm. There's a lot of tutorial, I guess you could say, but it's simple tutorial. It's not like, it over explains everything. So it's not overly complicated. So we'll get our tools and our inventory here. So yeah, anybody who's played any type of renovator game, missing parts, some haunted objects are missing. Oh, this is a really cool thing too. Some of the um, the objects will get possessed like this this young lady here. Hey, sweetheart, how are you? Aw, you're missing something. Your friend over there is just pooping. And anybody who knows me knows I get distracted way too easily and lose my train of thought. But anyways, just any other type of house renovator, like power wash simulator, yada yada. You can pick up garbage. I got it. So you can see on the bottom left there, a little trash can. There's different types of trash you can pick up. And once the bags are full, they'll drop out of your inventory and you dispose of them appropriately. Mr. Ghost, would you relax for a minute? I'm trying to explain things to the audience. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to complete some objectives here. We'll do one or two and I'll kind of speed through, show you the next stage of the game. But yeah, as far as why the ghosts are here what makes haunted house renovator like a you know haunted house game the ghosts will cause mischief so if you don't figure out what type of ghost it is it can start wreaking havoc across the house which will make your job a little bit more of a pain in the rear end to deal with anything in here Ooh, spooky <laughs> but our objective is right now room by room with the entrance here we have to turn the lights on which would be over here, there's a fuse box. So we have to find the different fuses, plug them in, and we'll eventually get lights in here. Yep, I... I know how to play. So we'll just skip through all that. If you pick up the game, which I highly recommend you do, it is flipping fun. I meant to like just get used to the controls yesterday. I ended up playing the entire demo. So yeah, let's uh, get into it. So if I hit three here, we'll be our brush. We'll clean stains off the floor. 
Got a little hand out. I'm not sure if that's supposed to look like that, but we have different abilities too, which is really nifty. That stain's all cleaned up. We can look underneath here. What do we got here? Dirty furniture. So four would be our scrubber. And of course, later on, you'd be able to upgrade your tools and uh, unlock different tools. That's pretty fun. For now, I've also found it costs money to upgrade, or sorry, to purchase new furniture. So you will be later on able to repair furniture. And the whole idea is to be able to sell the house at the end of your run. So get your furniture set up, get everything clean, nice and tidy for the new owners. Hopefully banish all of the ghosts. I cannot clean that yet. This poor young lady. I would almost want to keep her in the house. She's like a feature. She's not a haunting. But I think tea kettle dude's whipping stuff from the kitchen. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through, going to clean up what I can. Excuse me, sir. What do we got here? Some trash to collect. So yeah, I know I'm looking down a lot. It's a very beautiful game. I hope you guys can hear the music. I do have it turned down a bit. The music is done by a composer, so... Uh, what's the best way to phrase this? It won't be copyright stricken. The, co the composer did make the music for the game. So you guys will be able to hear it, but it matches the atmosphere and the vibe so darn well. I really enjoy it. Other uh, abilities we have. Telekinesis. Another very useful one, especially whenever you're trying to um, get stuff out of the way. So we can grab the chair and float it around and throw it. Whee! Another one we have is teleportation, which is a really nifty tool as well. Especially if you're not as coordinated like I'm not. So we can select the chair and we can just teleport it Boom! over here until you push the wrong button. I promise I have played this game. Boom! And the chair's over here. So it's not like other renovator games where you're just like destroying or throwing everything out and having to redo it. You can use the furniture here. You can clean it up. So let's get started on that. We got some more uh, love stains on the floor. And of course, if you saw anything, any of the coverage that Spartan85 and I did of Boston, you'll see I, I did bring my black light to the hotel to see if I could find any ectoplasm or ghost fingerprints. We did find some ectoplasm on the walls. Luckily, the sheets were nice and clean. And I'll show you a little bit of that here. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to start scrubbing the table, scrubbing the furniture. You can pick up some trash. That's good enough. You don't always need to complete every task perfectly. That said, your clients will pay less if you leave the task half finished. So it does pay to completely clean the apartments. Oh, and underneath here, let me get rid of the scrubber. We do have a fuse. We'll pick that up. And we'll take a better look at the fuse box while I have a fuse in my hands. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to show how to get rid of you in a bit. I hope. So you'll see the fuse box here. The instructions did say turn off the fuse box. And we can place the fuses in. Let's get the kitchen fuse next. I think we have to get rid of these old ones as well. Oh, and there's a handy fuse right here. Forgot about him. And this can be for, I believe this is the entrance. So there we go. We're just missing a couple fuses here. We can turn the power back on. Zippity zap. How about that? And let there be light. Oh, that's that's shiny, dude. Go over to the light switches. Let there be light. So it's kind of nifty. As you clean up, you'll find the different fuses. You'll progress more and unlock the different tools. Like right now, I cannot go in here. The door is locked, but we will be able to get in there. Again, the, the uh, demo here is also very much a tutorial. Mr. Rat. I, I didn't like getting rid of him, too. He kind of kept me company when I was playing. Uh, do I have to clean this clock? I believe I do. Yes, I do. Look at that. Scrub a dub. So I will say this is a very relaxed game, and there are puzzles, too. Let me see if I can trigger a puzzle. I don't know if I'm too early for that. Uh, there's a puzzle over here. There's a puzzle over there. So you're not just straight cleaning. There are puzzles to be had. Can I whip out my camera yet? Push Q to get to the haunting stuff. And camera. Ha ha. Take pictures of paranormal activity. And after documenting the spirit, you can check its bestiary. So we'll wait for... Um... Hello, sir. I get a better picture of him. Oh, it kind of shows it here. Not a very good picture. And as you can see, coming soon, we have Driving the Sprite, 
into a, what is that? Decorative brazier, I believe it says. That's coming soon, the, the nice way to get rid of ghosts. You can do the nasty way of getting rid of ghosts. And unfortunately, the nasty way is hitting the sprite with a fire grenade, which we can unlock later. So there's different categories of ghosts and more to come. So for now, this dude, we have to extinguish him. That's not very nice, but you, you do what you got to do, I suppose. Does she uh, have a special photo thing? Aha! Oh, we do have the nice way. I did. Okay, yep. There's an art piece. Each art piece haunted by this entity is missing a piece. And yeah, so we could destroy the statue to get rid of the ghost too. Yeah, we're going to stick to the nice way. We can do the nice way in the demo here. Let me see if I can take a picture of the tea kettle ghost. Sometimes he can be finicky. It is a demo. Hello, sir. Nope. But it did just take a nice photo for us. So let's get back to... Put our flashlight on. And I think I have to find a cello. I did not complete the demo. I, honest to God, wanted to save... Ooh, a fuse. Save a lot of the gameplay, the first, you know, reactions. But man, I just got lost and... Lost in gaming, a lot of us will do that. We only want to play a couple minutes, we end up playing hours. Oh, I'm talking way too much. Let's get some cleaning going here. Ah! Hello, sir. Let me get a better view of you. I'm stuck. Hold on, did I? You're coming with me, buddy. I think I know I couldn't find the cello yesterday. Oh. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Is this how you get rid of you? Mouse wheel down, we'll rotate. Or are you just trying to indicate that I am dummy and have to find the cello? Um, I'll figure you out at some point. Oh, ta-da! Now, do I have to telekinesis you? I believe I do. So this is a harp, a stone harp, and I wonder who this could belong to. Ah, oh, Mr. Fire Dude. I love your company, man, but here you go, lady. Would you like this? Accept it. And there we go. One haunted object has been banished. So, yeah. Pretty cool. We're at 8500 bucks right now. Heck yeah. We're leaving lots of... Uh, lots of potential monies to renovate this place. Nice and spick and span. Alright. The office. We have to remove some stains from the floor and walls. Let me go put the fuse in there. Right, ta-da. Oh no, can I take that one out? No, oh I can, excellent. There we go. Zappity, zappity, zap, zap, zap. Sweet. Oh. Did I do that? Is somebody causing mischief? It's probably fire, dude. Really? Why did you have to do that? Aha. You're doing well. Time for something a little bit more advanced. I left an urn for you. Don't ask whose ashes are inside. Try to move it. Really? I don't, don't want to deal with somebody's ashes. I'll put you here. Uh-oh. UV light. You'll encounter ghosts invisible to the naked eye. Turn on the UV light. So most ghosts can't harm you, but they will make your job harder. This is what I was talking about. They like to leave ectoplasm all around. They like to just straight up be bullies. So push F. And there's my UV light. And this ghost is avoiding the UV light. So now I have to catch the, uh, ooh. Catch the rat, all that fun stuff. So if you look down to the bottom of the screen there, I got new tools. So I can place this, a trap which I can bait the ghost to the trap. And yeah, so what we'll do here. 
So we have the trap set, and now we have to try to corral this dude into the trap. Get in the trap. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? You, you get out of there. I'm not going to use this trap for now. I think I have to use this trap for the rat, to be honest. I think I have to get out my cool ham axe, which destroys objects. So if you want to get rid of furniture in the house and just buy new furniture, this is the tool you'll use. But this trap right here, the invisible ghost trap, is the one I should have been using. So we're going to teleport this bad boy. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's coming for you, dude. So we have to... Like this. So we hit spacebar to activate the trap. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, and I just crawled him into it. So you deserve a reward for that. Look for a broken safe. If you fix it, you can keep everything inside. Excellent. Thank you, Grandpa. So you can see the um, the objectives in the left-hand side has been updated. But now that we have the UV light, let me turn that bad boy off. Whoop. We can start seeing the uh, the ectoplasm trails. So let's see if, how much of a mess he did cause here. Because the UV light will illuminate it. Oh, jeez, that darn ghost. But now we can see the uh, the ectoplasm, the the net launcher. All right, catch flying vermin. So the bats and the rats, you can use the net launcher on it. <laughs> we'll collect our rat. We'll put him outside. He can go possess I don't know a garbage can out in the street. What am I stuck on? That darn fire ghost. And there's a bat in here. Come here, buddy. Oh, actually got him the first try. It took me like three tries yesterday to do that. So repair and rob the safe. And there's a fuse. Excellent. Take that. Again, there's so much you can do in this game. It, Honest to God, I did not get bored. And I played almost the entire demo yesterday. So if we push eight, that'll bring us our toolbox, which we can use to repair stuff. So repairing is a heck of a lot cheaper than it is to just rebuy a product or rebuy furniture. Sweet. I'm not sure how we acquire those goods. Shop. That's right. There we go. Haunting countermeasures. So what's cool with the toolbox, you can see you hover over like the different... Oh. Excuse me. Oh, all right, cool. This is one of the mini games. So it's a follow the leader. Did I get it? No, I did not, question mark. I got it yesterday. Oh, I did get it, sweet. I got actually 130 bucks for that. Excellent. We'll hang out with a mirror here. The mini games. Some hauntings want you to play some games. This is pretty fun. So if you fail at this, no big deal, but there'll be more treasure if you succeed. So I'll play with you, homie. So this one wants you to do the matching game. So uh, everyone's played the memory matching game. You have a limited number of chances to find all pairs. That is fine. I am as dumb as they come, so... Uh, squiggly thing. Nope. Like that. Oh, look at us go. These two match. These two match. We are smart. We solved the mirror riddle. We got some coinage there. Excellente. Um, who are you? Oh, those are like cool rollerblades. That's Grandpa. That's pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Sweet. So, remove stains on floors and walls. Place all the furniture. Replace wallpaper. So, I'm gonna uh, start renovating these rooms here. And then we'll go venture off and go further into the game a little bit. Mr. Fire Dude's over there. So, yeah. Let me get some renovation done. And then we'll, uh, we'll hang out. Yeah. Later. Oh, 
Ooh, which coat hanger should we put up? I like this one. It's very regal. Coat hanger should be by the front door. Interesting choice. Remember that clients expect you to leave every room properly furnished. Sometimes you may be tasked with installing furniture that matches a specific style. That matches the specific style. It's regal. This is a nice regal house. Cool. And I believe, did I pick up a fuse? We can finally finish. Oop, turn off the power before you play with fuses. Ta-da. All right. So our entryway, except for that bad boy that does not want to fit in there. And I, uh, I, I must have knocked that off. So the entryway is done. Let me go uh, renovate this room. Ta-da! So I uh, replaced all the flooring, replaced all the wallpaper, repaired the furniture. I cannot for the life of me remove stains from the floors and walls because I don't know where they are. I looked high, low. I don't know if it's a bug, if it's that cobweb over there, which I apparently cannot figure out how to get rid of. Maybe after I progress a little bit more, it'll give me like a tool for cobwebs. But we've got Mr. Fire Pants over here. So I'm going to go into my shop. I'm going to search for... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Aha! The water grenade. So left mouse bump... Left mouse bumper. Wow. Left mouse button will buy it. Let's see if I can figure out how to use it. What? Um... That's new. Do I have to like... Oopsies. Do I have to uh, like... Whip it? Is that how you use it? What in the world? I don't know what's going on here, but um... Is that the grenade doing that? Every time I touch the grenade... Th Alright, I got it, dude. Chill. Fire dude. You want a grenade? Do I have to, like, hold it? Oh! Yeah, you just whip it into the dude. All right, well, that got rid of uh, fire, dude. Ooh, treasure! I hear more burning. Oh, that was just him. Sweet! <laughs> we all know what that stain was. All right, well, I'm going to uh, carry on, and if anything interesting happens, I'll uh, I'll fill you guys in. But, yeah, I uh, wanted to go for, like, the more regal look. You know, the red wallpaper, the uh, nice finished floors here. So, cool. Let's carry on. All right. Let's get rid of this little love stain from the ghosts. What's that? Looks like a bar of soap or something. Soap caddy. All right, cool. See, I did not explore this room all that much, so I think this is like kind of this is where I left off when I was playing the demo. So everything pretty much from here on out will be a new experience. Let's fix this. Replace the wallpaper. Place the toilet in the bathroom. Can we just repair the toilet? I kind of like that whole old school. Yeah, sweet. Nothing else needs repaired. It's disheveled, but. What I am finding while I am uh, renovating the other rooms is the object collision is not yet refined. Eh. Eh, get the corner. So sometimes, like, you'll try to put, like, a uh, statue on a table and it just does not want to sit there. So we'll let our, um, our rollers get to work there. I don't know why it does that. Let's select... Let's see. This is a bathroom, right? Can we, uh... Something more bathroom. We want something white and pattern. Ooh, twilight textile? Yeah, we'll accept that. You've done enough to finish the contract. Will the pay more of every task? Well, if you complete every task, all right. Kinda got that. 
Let's just finish this up here. You know, we'll see if there's anything else to explore. No, I wanted all of it done, man. That's right. It's still a demo. It's the demo is not even out on public yet, so I cannot tell you what the price will be. Now, is there any way to get into there? Or are we just locked out of the full map? We might be locked out of the full map. So, I can tell you right now, if I check my blood pressure, it would not be high. I thoroughly enjoyed going around. The ghosts are still throwing stuff, though. That's the funny part. No, I did not organize everything. Leave when you're ready to finish the contract. Yeah, I don't know where that last stain is. I am fairly certain it has something more or less to do with that cobweb sitting right there. Well, that's something we'll have to figure out later when the game is further updated. Got the office in here. Can we turn on this light? Yeah, we can. Bright new, totally clean and tidied office. But again, like some of the collision, if I grab the paper, I can throw it on top of here. Ish. But if I go to teleport it, it does not want to teleport up. It don't like you. No big deal. I'm fairly certain that the uh, the tea kettle ghosts, this little dude and all that will be in the next room, which we cannot currently access. But honestly, guys, as soon as this demo comes out, please check it out. Add this game to your wish list. Haunted House Renovator. It is chill. It is one of those renovation games where you get to, you know, renovate a room, add your own personal touches. We can add... Uh, I don't know. What do you want to throw in here? Let's go uh, a kitchen appliance. Let's put a big spoon on the floor. J just for shits and gigs. Put another one. I don't know where we can put it. What else we got? Put a plate in here. So yeah, you get to decorate it. You get to chill out. Do whatever you want. However you want. And still deal with ghosts. You know, a lot of us on this channel... And if you're a fan of this channel, you probably like Ghost Supernatural, all that fun stuff. So it still has the haunted twist where you have to investigate the different ghost types to banish them. You know, different methods to do certain things. Find the different objects. To I'm sorry I got rid of you, sweetheart. You, you were cool. But yeah, all in all, pretty relaxing game. You're not being hunted by ghosts, you're hunting them. It's really crazy. And thank you, Peter. Sorry, I'm not going to try to pronounce your Polish name, but you were fantastic in communicating me with me, telling me what was copyright, giving me the uh, press kit, chatting with me at PAX. It's pretty awesome. Got first-hand experience with this game, and I really hope you guys enjoy this game. Put it on your wish list. Help support it. And yeah, we'll catch you all in the next video.